Meet Kaisa. She attends public school in Helsinki, Finland, where the education system invests in the future for her and all students with a high quality teacher labor force and equitable education for all. Finnish students enter formal schooling at age seven, and by 15, they outperform most of the world. Across the globe, Chile's privatized education gives public tax money to parents in the form of vouchers to pay for school. However, a few rich families like Sofia's can afford to add to the voucher for the best private schools, which make a profit. Middle-income families like Maria's can only add a little money for attending mediocre private schools. Carla and many like her only has a voucher to attend a school in poor condition. In all three schools, standardized tests drive curriculum. Teachers are underpaid, have varied levels of preparation, and often seek other jobs. In this system, students like Sofia, Maria, and Carla perform among the lowest in the world on international tests. Anger over Chile's inequitable education system has driven hundreds of thousands of people to protest. As a result, Chile is now prohibiting schools from making profits and selecting students. Around the world, countries are grappling with how to provide the best education for their children. For instance, what about Kayla in the United States? As in Chile, some cities and states have begun investing in charter schools, like in New Orleans, saying that they offer choice. However, supplying private companies with education tax dollars means they make profits with little public oversight and less money goes to kids like Kayla. Teachers are often inexperienced, and charters can exclude harder to teach, therefore more expensive students. Most of these schools don't outperform public schools. On the other hand, Massachusetts, like Finland, invests in teacher education and infrastructure while ranking first in the U.S. on many achievement indicators. Education policy in the U.S. is being made now. We've seen what happens to Kaisa in Finland and the girls in Chile, but what will Kayla's future look like in America? We all have a voice. Click on the link below to see what Kayla's future might look like and for further ways to engage.